Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be looking at the difference between a ceramic tile and a porcelain tile. So this is really important for people undertaking tile jobs and even professionals that really should know the difference between these. Um, because if you get it wrong, they can lead to like massive failures. And the difficulty in identifying them is, is they both look the same. So if you look at these two tiles here, even though one's cream and one's white, they both look like they've got a real shiny finish on. However, one is ceramic and one is porcelain. So if I turn it around and have a look on the back here, again, there's no identification on the top whether it says it's ceramic or porcelain. The key work of the mold is pretty much the same diamond check. So again, which one is which? And again, if you get it wrong, these tiles could all come loose, they could all fail. So apart from one of the cutting exercises I've done on porcelain, um, it's a different way of cutting porcelain tiles to ceramic tiles. It's, it's the difference of adhesives and what we've got to use to fix porcelain instead of ceramic. So, the easiest way to like sort of identify it is with a water test. But I'll just explain a little bit about like sort of the makeup of like a ceramic tile and a porcelain tile. And again, if anybody's going out there and like sort of talking to customers, it's good to understand the products that you're actually dealing with and it just educates your customer as well. Um, at the same time as showing you that you're educated as well in your trade. So this goes through a firing process when the tiles are made. And a ceramic tile is made from a piece of clay and it's got a glass glaze on the top. And that tends to be put in a kiln and it's fired at about 1600 degrees, which is just really the baking process. So when it comes out, it's just a solid tile with the clay baked on the back, the glass is melted on the top, and that forms a ceramic tile. A porcelain tile is made of a different product called kaolinite, or kaolin. And that product there is baked at a much higher temperature, and it's baked at about 2000, 2200 degrees as well. So what that means is the, the structure of the tile is totally different to a clay tile. And this is called the vitrification process. So the tile becomes vitrified or it is vitreous. And it's this vitrification process that we have to really understand um, because vitrified means non-absorbent. So the easiest way to test a tile, whether it's ceramic or porcelain, is by putting some water on the back of it and that's gonna check to see whether it actually soaks in or not. So if I put these two tiles on the table here, so at the moment, we don't know which one is actually ceramic and porcelain, but if I get some water and I put some water on the top of this ceramic tile, you will see straight away that there's a dark patch sort of appeared on this, and that's because the water has absorbed into the tile and it's soaked in. So therefore that can't be porcelain because if it was porcelain, it will be sitting on the top like it's going to on this one. So again, if I put some water on this one, if the camera can pick this up but that is sitting there like a sort of like a, a bead on the top of that as if it's a car that had been waxed in the water drop that's sitting on the top there so there is no coloration to that there is no absorbency whatsoever in that tile there is against that one so straight away this test tells me that this particular one is the ceramic tile and this one is the porcelain tile so again if I Pick that tile up there, you can see the difference between how there is no absorption in this tile whatsoever and this one has absorbed. So you've got to think, well, what difference does it make? Well, it's really down to the adhesives that you use. So either the thin set or the powdered adhesive will have to use with uh, a porcelain tile. Ceramic tiles, you can get away with tub adhesives like ready mix pastes. However, with a porcelain tile, you've got to use a powdered cement-based mixed adhesive. Now, you generally have like two kinds of adhesive. One is going to be a standard flexible adhesive, and the other one is just going to be a normal cement adhesive, right? So the flexible adhesive has liquid latex built into it. It's that liquid latex that tends to bond to the back of the tile. If I had to use the standard adhesive, the one without the flexible latex in it, and we tried that on a porcelain tile, there's a good chance all them tiles are gonna like sort of fall off the wall or they're gonna come loose on the floor. 
So again, just double check with your tile suppliers that if you've got a porcelain tile, it's generally a flexible adhesive in the powdered form that we'll need to fix these tiles with, not the standard one without it. So again, um, there's, there's loads of different brands around that all do like a standard and a flexible one. Just make sure you buy the flexible one. Kind of stress that enough. So again, hope that helps uh, your, your skills and your knowledge just by identifying these tiles because it will save you a lot of money in failures if you get this identification wrong. So like I say, my name's Darren. Um, been teaching time for 20 years. Don't forget to try and support the channel and um, hit the subscribe button and um, hit the notification button and give us a thumbs up and any comments please leave and if you want us to show you anything else you got any suggestions by all means leave them comments there and i'll get back to you and i'll do that in the next video thanks for watching